everybody, I'm Mitsuki. I'm, and I'm William. And you are Batman, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're continuing. You guys know us, there was an alien. Oh. Hi, Isabella. And that's Isabella. And where's her boyfriend? I think his boyfriend was right across. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa, 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 whoa. I did not agree to have a party, all right? <laughs> Your mother is going to kill me. Oh, shit. Okay, cutscene time. Everybody down. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, did I die too? I see a game over screen. I'm so on my keyboard. <laughs> like, what was I supposed to do? An entire cutscene just for your death. You feel special. Uh, what? Relaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? what? Uh, Wait, where did I go? Wait. What? what? What's, what? Uh, What's going on? Are you back on the ship? I. This isn't I got, back where I, I was. Ship. I thought I might have. I thought I was. I was joking, but I thought I died for a second. But. I guess you made it back to your ship. Apparently where I landed was apparently where I needed to go. Relaine? Can I get out of the suit? Uh, apparently not. Oh! Oh! God damn it. It's a bell up. Sweetie. 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 I, I know you're angry. Ooh, mouse keys, what? Must be right. But I know you're I know you're angry. We didn't let you have a party. I know. Pussy. Hit me, hit me. Did I die? Oh shit. I ejected myself into space. Okay. Which is bullshit. Because in the second Alien movie, they said that I died of old age. Wait, did a ship find me? Wait. Right, okay, that's where it ends? Really? What the frick? Really? Uh, really? Out of all the times, we thought it was going to end. Whenever um, we don't want it to end, we want to see how we live. Um, and then it okay. ends. Um, so many questions. So many questions. Okay, um, first off, I died of old age in the movie. In the movie. So apparently I did get rescued. But, okay, were you on the Nostromo? But I think, okay, I th remember there was like a ship that was like, that said they could take passengers? I think I landed on that, and then I climbed inside that ship. And then the alien apparently followed. Apparently, no, the alien was already on the ship, um, apparently. Because when I tried to go there, then he showed up. And then I'm assuming when you ejected, you ejected both of you. Uh, I just showed me, so possibly. But didn't... I did the exact same thing my mom did, which was nuke the fucking place. But apparently it goes back to where it was wasn't destroyed, but the alien was still there? What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Unless uh, my mom didn't destroy the Nostromo. I don't know. Okay, finally first beat it. off, you had this alien party come at you. Everything went boom and disintegrated. The next you know, you're on a ship. Yeah. You you walk into the air, you walk forward basically, then you open it door and then the aliens right there the xenomorph yes and then you go to the airlock you eject apparently you and we're assuming also the alien went out into space and then we see a bright light on you 
Yeah, because if maybe a ship came by and picked me up. Out of all, all times, game, you were less descriptive. Yeah, no kidding, right? They, every time we thought it was going to end, it didn't. The one time we didn't want it to end, it, it is. Ended. Fuck. With a cliffhanger. Yeah, what the hell? Do we have to play on the hardest difficulty to get the actual ending? I sort of got... Maybe it's a DLC. I do have the DLC. I bought it. Are we going to do the DLC? Do we have to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, should I Google this? Google it. Oh, my God. Um, oh, gosh. I know I have the DLC. I wasn't actually planning on it, but I don't know. In case we ever... In case I really enjoyed the game, I wanted to have it. So, I bought it. I don't know. Got some kung, like, we got some funky rave music going on though. Yeah, Google this as well. While well, you guys are checking out the credits, we're and where we're going to be researching this shit. Boots, 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 boots. <laughs> You're having way too much fun. Yeah, this, this fucking music. It's catchy. Pretty good music. Wait, Sega made this game? I had no idea. Hmm. Huh. Sega made it. I did not know that. I never really pay attention to publishers. Okay, so apparently Ricardo got attacked by a face hugger, and that's how he died. Yeah, apparently I even went on, um, okay, this is not about the ending, this is literally about some, someone actually reading this, on IGN. Right. Let me just quote what they said at the very end. It may seem strange to complain that a game's too long, but when the genuine scares of being hunted by an unstoppable predator are so diluted by repetition and padding, isolation's epic length really does work against it. Someday, someone is going to make an incredible alien video game that checks every box. But sadly, isolation is not. Dude, that was dead on. Didn't I say the exact same thing just a couple episodes ago? Maybe oh, yeah. not. Turns out we weren't on the uh, Nostromo. We were on the uh, Seventh Pole. Whatever the heck that new spaceship was. I don't know where we were on the Nostromo. Did it, I don't know. Wait, didn't we blow that up? That's what we blew up. So how do we were we on it? Ripley then space jumps to the Torrance just before Singapore loses its orbit and falls onto the planet. Aboard the Torrance, Ripley abruptly loses contact with uh, Verlaine and subsequently discovers an alien was on board the ship. So under suit, Ripley is cornered in an airlock with the alien only choose to hit the airlock's emergency release and jettisons both herself and the alien into space. Yeah, I'm going to say suddenly woke up by fashion. Yeah, it doesn't even say how it ends. Basically says she suddenly awoke by a flash of light, presumably by an unidentified vessel, approaching her. That's it. So I could have sworn- okay, this is confusing. The Nostromo- like this seventh pool looked exactly like the Nostromo, but it wasn't. I don't know, this game's weird. Again, out of all, like, you know, possibly, you know, 15 hours, like, I have saw someone, like, play this, and it took him, like, 15 hours of hiding from the alien and trying to beat this game. So, I'm just going to assume that. we Maybe we played 15 hours. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, not gonna well, I always put these videos in playlists, and I can judge how long the game is based on the playlists. Because the playlists will tell me how long it is, approximately, to watch. So, I'll find out whenever I get these uploaded. But yeah, we spent all this time Sweet. game basically doing the same thing over and over again. We think we get an ending and a dead, we are pulled back over and over again. We get so much detail and especially, you know, they use stuff from the movies. 
And yet, by the very freaking end, everything somehow goes so nuts, they don't even give anything to describe it. Yeah, it's like, okay, everything apparently is bursting into flames. Because, like, didn't, like, didn't the core decide it was going to overload or something like that and we couldn't stop it? Maybe. Like, we pretty much leave Mrs. Sexy Accent, you know, to die. Which is pretty much, she got knocked unconscious. We're basically saying, fuck her, we left. This. Really? There's so many questions. They could have gone just so many different directions. Ah, this makes me sad. Everyone's really, everyone was really excited about this game too. I knew I was. I thought I, I thought this game was going to be pretty awesome. Mhm. Mm ah, oh well, I got the I got the the evil within to. Focus on now, so maybe one game to focus on, maybe while I get done with this semester. <sighs> There's a lot of credits for a game that was extremely repetitive. Yeah. Oy. Let's see the reviews on Steam. So many people already have already recommended it. Really? I bet the game was pretty cool, but. I know PewDiePie played it, but. Good review, good review, recommend, 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 recommend. Okay, yeah. I guess I guess it's time for us personally to give our opinions on it. What did you think of Alien Isolation? You've watched the videos, you've been with it through quite a bit of it. On your opinion, what would you rate this game overall? <sighs> I'll admit that definitely the game is, in a way, it's unique in its own way. I mean, if you think about it, the character. I mean, okay, I have seen, like, a lot of different, like, hype games. Especially the first game that comes to mind is, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Amnesia? No, 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 not Amnesia. Um, Out Outlast. Ah, right. Again, if you guys don't know it, okay, it's basically you're, I'm not going to spoil really much of it, you're a reporter and you go into an asylum. Classic. And you, and you basically hide. Yeah, As I you guess. try to get the story behind what's going on in the asylum. The game is fucked up. <laughs> well, I mean, you're basically hiding in lockers, hiding in under beds. And you're hiding from guys who are trying to kill you. Well, I mean, the, the alien and everything, he could pop up anywhere. Usually, I mean, I'm not really sure about Outlast, mind you. This is my own personal opinion. And I've only seen people like get through an area of Outlast and or, without dying. Of course, with Alien, you die a lot. Pretty much. So, it definitely seemed, you know, the idea behind it. I'm glad they brought back something Alien related. I mean, definitely from how long it's been since something Alien related has been released is happy. And I'm definitely happy that, you know, they actually used stuff that, you know, was based off the movie. I just don't like how repetition, how repeating it was. With the idea that, you know, okay, this looks like an ending, up you get pulled back, up another ending, you get pulled back, another ending, you pull back. And then by the time, you know, especially as we've already complained about plenty of times already, we get to the actual end and we're like, what the frick just happened? What's going on? Oh my gosh. So what would you overall rate it? I guess. Like, on at a, at a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah, classic rating. <sighs> You've seen my episodes, you've been with me through it, through quite, like, most of it. Say I give it a, maybe a 7? Okay, fair enough. Personally, I had high hopes for this game. I really did. It's just, I like how they brought back a lot of the stuff from the original Aliens. Like, I'm, the uh, I can't remember her name, but Ripley, I'm her daughter. Which is freaking awesome. I knew about that. Like, yeah, I get to play Ripley's daughter. She's going to be awesome. But then they tried to eventually go back to what the original movie was. Which was just, here's an alien on a ship. You try to survive it. Oh, look, here's a flamethrower. Same thing in the movie. They, here's a flamethrower. You figure out it doesn't like it. I had high hopes. I thought it was really going to be an alien survival. You know, where you had a bunch of eggs everywhere. This place is being overrun and infested. Not... 70 to 80% of the game hiding from one alien trying to figure out what to do 
And it's just a bunch of hacking, running around, the same thing over and over. Here's a bunch of androids, get around them. Here's the alien, hide for a couple minutes. Here's dudes with guns, kill them, keep going. There was nothing to really keep me into the game besides, you know, I had to finish it being a Let's Player. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just overall, I had high hopes for it. I was really disappointed with it. Towards the end, it got pretty cool because everyone was infested. The eggs were showing up, the face huggers, multiple aliens. Yeah, I loved that. The game was too long. They didn't give you enough to really keep you into it to really make it a great game. So we'll give it yeah. about what I personally recommended. Not for the price. If they sold it for, in the future, if they sold it for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, okay, why not? 50 to 60 like they're suddenly it no hell no is it's just it's a lot of fun but they could have done so much more i agree so what would you rate it on a scale of one to ten being a personal let's player i'm not a really a big fan of this game uh considering how excited i was in the beginning and how the jump scares oh the shit there he is and all that that you and fucking joey had a good laugh at <laughs> it stopped being scary the second you got the flamethrower so, personally, I'll give it about 7 to about 7.5. Depends on how much you love the Alien series and how strict you are when it comes to these type of games. Mm -hmm. so, so, we're basically on the same level here. Pretty much. So and that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we're brothers. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, well, there is Crew Expendable and The Last Survivor. I don't know a whole lot about that. Pretty sure Crew Expendable is going to be exactly the movie, the first movie. I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, again, this is your call if you want to do... We can always come back to it later. If people want to see it, we'll come back to it. If not, well, then we just got to... We'll come back to it later, maybe. If it, it is at a DLC, so I may do it solo in the future. But for right now, I might as well end the video here. I'm Insigate. And I'm William. I think it's safe to say this was the final episode, unless there's going to be some secret bullshit showing up here. Oh, God. And as I say that, the screen flashes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, see you guys in the next episode of Whatever I Make. See you guys. See ya.